the yellow Georgia jacket. Georgia Tech has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. LSU's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that it's no It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think you're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. Watch 19, watch 19. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ready. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle made at about the 31. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Makes it out to about the 23. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. After, after review of the, the play, the ruling, the ruling on the, on field, the field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football Watch again. 82. Watch 82. Ball's coming 82. Here we go, here we go. 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 And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. It's the ninth play of the drive. the six-yard line. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Get to that quickly. Touchdown, Tigers! to his wide receiver who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And 
he hits the PAT. A nine play, 62 yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, seven nothing. LSU lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Set, set, Oklahoma. Set. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Let's put that team on the hey, check Mike 57. He goes downtown. Makes the catch and look out, and he's finally shoved out at the 16. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. Will be tied with the extra point, and he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Going deep. And he holds it in. And he's taken down at the 15. That's going to be 62 yards. First down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Here we go. Red 68. Red hot. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. And it's scooped up by the running back. He's taken down at the 27. So the sack makes this a second and long. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings us third and 14. Here we 
go! Red hot! Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. They put everyone up on the line. Ready! Check, check! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. the five. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Second down and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Ready, ready, ready. He's wrapped up for the sack. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. LSU to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, Roger, Roger. it's second down. He's into the open field. He's pushed out of bounds around the 47-yard line. At the 44. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Set. And they make the stop at the 47. That's a loss of three yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up third, third and four. And four. <laughs> coming this way, coming this way. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Mike's 57, 57. Fires out to his receiver. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and ten, ball on the 30. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. That's a team. That makes it second and two. Oklahoma! 
He has some room inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Tech. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. This is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare is having to defend a quarterback that has an ability to run the football. He's already scored twice in his first half, and the defensive coordinator needs to start accounting for him and his ability to run the football. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they hit him in the backfield. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Georgia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out at the 45. That's a gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Strike to his receiver, no good. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Georgia Tech is up four. Ball is loose, fumble, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike's 57, 57's Mike. Hey, that's a good 
And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at 38. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 28-yard line. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. He scrambled. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. When a quarterback beats you with the pass, you can live with it. But when you're surrendering this kind of run on a scramble, you need to wake your guys up. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 53-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 21-10. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Aaron and out long. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Rally! And he throws it away. From their own 38-yard line, third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down at the 29. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Yellow Jackets in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks. You know, 
do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. They're ready to begin another drive. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. The sophomore just stuck it to ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. I got one, I got one, I got one. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up 36. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of two. That makes it fourth and eight. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle made at the 27. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 24. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for him. He really got a hold of that one. He's tackled at the 32. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He tackles him for a loss. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. him down for a loss. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up fourth and five. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. From the 15. They'll bring him down at the 28.
The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Here he goes. Gets to around the 42. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Here we go. Blue 88. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 32. Gain of 10 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Ready. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 26. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. the stop around the 14-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. They get nice yardage on that run. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. That's three down and one to go. Georgia Tech's in front by 11. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. Set! Blue 19! Blue 19! Big play, and it's first and goal. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Takes 
it up the middle for a nice run. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. The defender can only pick one player, and this time, he can't pick the wrong guy. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Looks left, finding his tailback. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Number 96 with the tackle at the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Ready. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. two-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Slings it. Almost picked off. and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Runs it left for a decent game. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it seven and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Set, They'll bring him down at the 24. Gain of three yards. Third down. Larry, Larry. Seven's the mic. Watch 57. Watch the run. They're running it. Down. Blue 14. Blue 14. He makes his way out to about the 12. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A four play 31 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. Georgia Tech to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. LSU's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Under a minute left in the game. And that just might do it. Intercepted to the 20. Brought down around the 12-yard line. Brad, I'm all for continuing to fight, continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team, they're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. One-yard loss for the halfback. tackled at the 14 yard line these guys have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time a fun week for one team a nightmare for the other it's final georgia tech 35 lsu 10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.